it's Diane Lee from Teach Pre-K. And another thing I get asked about a lot is how I do my morning, little morning work or what I call mini centers. So I'm gonna show you in my classroom what the kids do when they first come in and excuse the scratchy voice, I am like getting a cold and I'm fighting it so hard. But I'm gonna show you what I do and what it looks like. Okay. So kids come in in the morning, they come to this little table, they look for their face and their name, they put it in that par uh, pocket chart. Now they have got a choice. They can come to this table, which usually has something that is artsy, craftsy, fine motor. I have hole punch and paper out there today. Um, they could come over here and they could play with the treehouse builders and forest animals. I have more builders in that container that I will most likely put out. They can come over here and play with forest animals and these little rainbow blocks, which are always really fun. They look like there's not much you could do with them, but they have a lot of fun with them all the time. I have some more animals. If they want them, they can come here to my sequin board they can come here to the puzzle table. They can find a book or play with the new magnets on the magnet board. They cannot go to the block table or the dramatic play or the sensory bin. In fact, the lid will be on the sensory bin. It's really cute. It's definitely a fun forest theme. So that is what they do. Then, um, as everyone gets here, they can move anytime they want from table to table, to books, to magnets, to those little puzzles over there at their leisure. If they get bored with this hole punch thing, and with this I might add maybe some crayons or some glue or something and just see what they come up with. But they could come over here and play for a little bit. Once they're disinterested in that, they could come over here like I said, go find a book, play with magnets, go practice with hole punches for a while. Then we clean up and just put everything back in its containers. And as you can see, I'm already set up for my centers. I've got Sneaky Snacky Squirrel Game. I have everything ready for making foxes later. But we clean up and we come here to the rug and that is that. So that's what I do every day. I switch it up a little bit. I will put maybe Legos, um, maybe just coloring sheets out, maybe scissors, construction paper, maybe we'll make bracelets, maybe we'll make beaded bracelets at the art table. Um, sometimes at the table that had the tree houses and the animals, I. We'll put magnet tiles, um, Lego blocks, just anything we're not using at our block table. So they have a chance to use all those toys all the time. Um, the table that had the little rainbow blocks and the forest animals, I like to switch that up and sometimes make that just like working on literary, literacy stuff, alphabet puzzles, opposite puzzles, things that go together puzzles things like that, or maybe chalkboards, whiteboards, places where they can practice writing. So we get a lot of fine motor work in in the morning and just have a variety of places that they can go at their leisure. They don't have to spend a set amount of time anywhere. In fact, I would say nine times out of 10, we end up with lots of kids over at the rug reading books um, they sometimes just want one-on-one -on -one time with us or just to sit in our lap or whatever. So it's a great time to build those relationships so you don't have behavior issues later on during your day. It's a good time to make sure that you as a teacher are going around to different tables and not just stationing yourself at one place. But I do like to see one of the teachers at least at one of the tables at all times. If another one is reading, one's got to be moving around from table to table, taking kids to the bathroom, whatever they need to do in the morning. But that's how we do it here at my school. It gives us a chance to reconnect with each other every day, 
check out what's in the classroom, get used to being in school again before we start our day. Thanks for watching.